channel. As you read from the title, today's video is going to be all about this $200 luxury headscarf. So before we get into the video, you guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. And I really appreciate you guys for watching. So I wanted to do this video because I wanted to give you guys the tea on this expensive ass headscarf. Is it worth the $200? Is it just a regular headscarf with a luxury brand's logo on it? I'm gonna give y'all all of the answers to those questions. So I am wearing the scarf, this is how it looks, and this is their monogram confidential bandeau in the color brown. So I got this online and it retailed at $180. I decided to get it shipped to my home, and once shipping cost was calculated, I paid about $195. So essentially, you guys, I paid $200 for a headscarf. So, let's go ahead and just jump into the details of everything, and I'm gonna give you guys my overall opinion. So, as you can see, this is the scarf. The whole style of the scarf is mimicking a Louis Vuitton handbag. So as you can see right here, there is the straps, the buckles, the chains, and then in this area right here, you see their signature logo, which is the Louis Vuitton monogram. When I first seen this, you guys, I really loved it mainly because of the colors. I'm a sucker for neutrals and browns, and I really felt like this can be worn with almost anything. Now they do have a black and white one, which I also wanna get, but I was a little bit more leaning towards the brown one, so I got that one first. But yes, it comes in other colors besides this one, and I think it's black and white, and it also has the gold chain, just like this one. So off rip, when I went online and I decided to look up this scarf, I was surprised that the scarf was $180. Not because I was expecting it to be less, but because I was really expecting it to be more. When you think about it, it's Louis Vuitton and it is a luxury brand. So rather it is a nail file, a phone case, a Q-tip or gum, if it got LV on it, it's going to be expensive. So I was a little surprised when it was not exactly 200. I was thinking it might've been 250, 300. So when I seen that it was 180, I will say I was pleasantly surprised. So when I went on the website, you guys, I remember I was so excited. I seen it, I was ready to purchase it. And y'all, the shit was not even in stock. This scarf was out of stock for maybe about a month. I remember I kept going online. I kept checking back over and over and over until I finally went on one day and it was in stock. And so when I seen that it was in stock, I went ahead and I bought it because I did not know how long it was gonna be in stock for and I was not wanting to risk it going out of stock again. So I ordered it and I will say it came in about a week or less. So if I ordered it on a Wednesday, I would say it probably arrived to me by the following Monday or Tuesday. So the shipping was really, really quick. It came in a regular box, and then when you opened it, the scarf was in this, which is their standard Louis Vuitton packaging box that they have mostly all of their items in. So it came in this right here with a card and a bow wrapped around it. So like I said, I've had this for over a year now. So yeah, it looks a little raggedy, but it came in this really nice box and it had this bow and this card wrapped around it. So at first, I wasn't even sure if this was just a piece of paper that had the Louis Vuitton logo on it. But when I actually looked at it a little bit longer, I realized it was a little card. So it goes in like this, and then, like I said, it's really a bow that just wraps around the front of the box. So off rip, I thought this was really, really cute. If you were buying this as a gift to someone, you could easily take this out, you could write a nice little note, and I mean, you could put it in this little small envelope and it'll be so freaking cute and personalized but I was buying it for myself, so I never utilized that, but I just thought that it was really cute. So then, after you take the bow off, 
you get this little box right here. You see this little tab that you pull on and it opens the box as so. So it came with this envelope, tissue paper, and on top of it, obviously, they placed the headscarf. Off rip, before you even look into the envelope, with this card and the bow, everything about the packaging is A1 and it's really cute, which is everything I would expect from a luxury brand. But I just wanted to point that out. Like one thing I love about high-end products is they do a lot more than just package it and send it to your house. They're very thoughtful. They really think about how they want it to look. They plan it out and it's really nicely done. So it comes in a box like this, comes with this envelope, which also has the Louis Vuitton right on the front. And then you open it and then there's a few pieces of items in here. So the first thing you see when you pull out is a thank you card. So I'm not really sure if you guys can see it, but it says Louis Vuitton at the top and it says thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton. Your product has been crafted by experienced artists with exclusive materials. Please visit us again online at louisvuitton.com or at a Louis Vuitton store. So once again, really cute, really thoughtful. I mean, just nice, just really nice. I love when brands make it their business to show their customers how much they appreciate the purchase. So then the next thing you see more of like an invoice. So right here, it has the code of the item I purchased. It has the description and then it says that I ordered it offline. So everything about this little slip is just a fancy invoice for the product. The last item that you pull out of the envelope is a return voucher. So it is like your regular old return voucher where you can just fill it out down here, you fill out everything, and then you send the item back if you need to. All of this information up here is just your standard exchange policy and your return policy. These were the three items that you find in the envelope. One thing I will say about any type of high-end brand, is that they make the most simplest things and they turn it into something major. Just your regular invoice, your regular return shipping label, and your regular thank you card is put into something like this that goes with the box, that goes with the card, that goes with the bow. So everything is really cohesive and it's just well put together. And like I said, it should be. For the price, you should get this times 10. But yeah, so this was the packaging. This is what comes with it. You have a nice box to put your scarf in so you don't have to put it with all of the other stuff. It doesn't get lost, it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get damaged. You can put it in this nice, really, really cute box. So that is everything that's gonna come with your order. So let's go ahead and just talk about the scarf in itself. The scarf is made of 100% silk. It is of a thicker material than any other head scarf or bandeau that I own. But I'm cool with that. Like I said, when you are dealing with luxury brands, things are gonna be of a little bit higher quality, a little bit more thicker, not as thin, not as flimsy. So I'm cool with that. I think it's really cute when you wanna tie it around the head like this. Sometimes I like to wear it around my forehead like this. Either way, it's super cute in my opinion. Do I think that it is worth $200? Okay. I don't think any scarf is worth $200. I feel like if they would have made this $80 to $100, I would have easily said that that was a good price point for a luxury brand head scarf. But it is $100 more than that. So would I say that it's worth $200? If you like it, if you like the design, if you're someone that likes nice things, if you like Louis Vuitton, then yes. Sure, it's definitely worth it. But if you feel like you can find a neutral scarf that gives this same effect without having to spend so much money, then I would say no, it is not worth it. Any scarf that is more than just a couple of dollars is too much for a scarf mainly because a scarf is a scarf, you know what I mean? It's not going to cure world hunger, it's not going to take Trump out of office, it's not going to pay my bills. It's just a headscarf, you know what I mean? It's just 
It's just that, a headscarf. Now, because we know that Louis Vuitton is a luxury brand and we know that their things are gonna be more expensive, it doesn't surprise me that it's more than $100. But had it been any other brand, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. For me, what sold me is the color pattern, the design, and the monogram. I absolutely love like the monogram of Louis Vuitton. I love their logo. I love their colorways. I love their patterns. I love everything. So for me, that is what sold it. Had it been any other brand, I wouldn't have gotten it for sure. So that's my opinion on this scarf. I feel like it is super cute. I feel like I like to wear it in different ways. Sometimes I wear it like this. Sometimes I wear it across my head like how I'm wearing it now. With the swoop and the long hair and the big lashes and the lip gloss, I feel like it's giving me a look. But even if you wanted to dress it down with some denim, it'll still be super, super fly. The scarf in itself, it comes to right here. So it's not super long. It's not one of those scarves that you can tie around over and over again. You really will only be able to tie it that one time and it'll be good to go. And yeah, so that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people don't believe in spending a lot of money on little things like scarves and things like that, but I believe that if you like something, if you work hard and you want something, then you should buy it, you know? Rather it be a scarf or whatever, you know? Buy what is going to make you happy. I'm happy with it, I'm glad that I got it. It is my go-to scarf whenever I just need to throw something on. A lot of times when my wig is busted, I'll put this on and it'll be super cute. You won't even be able to tell. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.